The San Juan Mountains in Colorado offer some of the most scenic views you will ever see. There's many 14,000 foot peaks and a lot of varied terrain. You have rocks, mud, and deep sand. And my favorite part about Colorado, lots of water, creeks, rivers, lakes. You'll get around this area by utilizing the mountain passes. There's imaging, black bear. Black bear is one way. You have to take it from east to west, and it dumps you into the town of Telluride. There's Engineer Pass to the far east. And just below Imogene and Black Bear is Ophir Pass, which is a vital trail to get you from side to side. But is this trail all-wheel drive friendly? Is this trail really four-wheel drive easy? Spoiler alert, as of September 22nd, Trails Off-Road upgraded the difficulty rating from a level two to a level three, which is now considered four wheel drive moderate. There's one section on this trail that is a bit rough. And if you travel from west to east, it will give most all wheel drives problems. You know those words, they hurt me You'd find out what made me angry Then use it to your ability Now you're trying to avoid me You're the big problem here A bully to many for so many years Now shut your mouth, close your ears Never learned your lesson and nobody cares Shout out to Brucey He has a YouTube video that he made a while back Like five years ago Where he drove his... Um, I think 4th Gen Outback 2.5 up this trail. You hurt me and do it all over again. Don't think about rock slide. Don't think about rock slide. <laughs> Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Look at all that. Carrie, um, what's your trans temp at? I'm at 244 right now. So yeah, I'd like to go down. He looked and saw that my tire was a little low, so he oh. was like, did you drop it on purpose? Oh, and got I it, know got he it. I was talking about it first, and I was like, oh, oh. it's just air pressure. I'm like, <laughs> got it, got it. <laughs> All right. So I'm Ian, Nolo Designs. Uh, we make products for 
the Honda light truck platform makes skid plates specifically. We do have a couple other small accessories for like ditch lights and so on. Uh, we offer front skid plates, gas tank skid plates, catalytic converter skid plates, uh, rear diff skids, and we have a couple other prototype parts on the truck that we're hoping to be able to bring to market soon. Uh, we also cover the 03 to 08 first gen Honda Pilot and we cover the 09 to 15 second gen Pilot. We have a front skid for All right, 10 4, 10 4, yep. Uh, oh, okay, wait one second. Need it? Oh, just keep going. Yeah. This pass right here was necessary to get to the other side to get to the million dollar highway, right? Yeah, yeah, we had to go this way just to basically cut off. There's no other good highway to get uh, between. We were over in Telluride and if we're trying to get back over to the million dollar highway, uh, this Ophir Pass, super simple, nice little cut through, very scenic. Uh, yeah, so there's not a I good way to get around. I wouldn't say super simple because that last section right there got really rocky and really Okay, maybe I'm on Yeah, it. and I see, mean, Carrie, slow and steady. Carrie did it, but I guess Carrie, but Carrie's Carrie, also extremely experienced. And she has a rear locker. Yeah, that's true. Right? Okay, so, yeah. Might want to yeah. give God's warning on that one. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, just a warning. I'm not saying... Don't do it. I'm not saying don't do it. Just... So see, see these ruts right here. Um, some vehicles might have some trouble. Carrie got through in her Subaru because she's locked. Once you guys get past that red dodge, this is kind of two, two way, I'd say it's pretty wide. And then I have a rear LST, so that's how I'm able to get up this okay. But I can totally imagine. Uh, <laughs> you can see how crunchy it is. And just applying a little throttle. The trans step is at 188. But it just, that part was just really chunky and really bumpy. All right, you're clear after that Ford F-150 okay. down there. According to the Trails Off-Road, Trail Difficulty and Assessment, at the very bottom they say the trail is most difficult between waypoints 8 and 10 where low range four wheel drive is needed along the narrow shelf road. So it's not just me being over dramatic about it, Carrie was pedal to the metal. So just know that she, she did make it up, but there was a struggle and because she has a rear locker, she's able to maintain that momentum. 195 now, so pretty sharp rise, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if after I get to the top right here where we're going to take a break, if uh, it goes up even higher. Yeah. 
making maybe, it, the more you made me think about it, the more I realized it. I mean, it's if not image, super simple. so if imaging pass is rated a level three, then that I would say that's like a two point five. Yeah. Because I wouldn't say this was as hard as imaging no, pass. No, this is certainly not. Yeah, as hard and trails off road uh, rates it imaging pass a level three. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's do it. Let's, let's go. go. No, no, no. He said Honda Action. <laughs> He's being prejudiced. <laughs> uh, Alright, John, what do you have to say? Say. Yabba dabba doo. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to record that. Yeah. Alright. It's good. Well, Brady, come on, get up here. No, I'm good. Alright. Videos are just like a lot of photos together. <laughs> Still there? Make sure to tune in to the Rebel Rally and cheer on Carrie Lando, team number 204. The event starts October 6th of 2022 and ends on the 15th. You'll be able to live track the teams. And stay tuned for more Colorado episodes. Next up, we visit Clear Lake. This place is amazing. You don't want to miss it. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Make sure you get those notifications.